afternoon y'all it is thursday uh april 5th and bond and i are at my father-in-law's house we got here last night uh we drove from hollywood to jacksonville and got here in four and a half hours and no mr long was not speeding or hauling ass no he wasn't uh we just didn't run into a lot of traffic during the time that we left yesterday so I have been taking today to just recuperate and to get my mind right for tomorrow's long road trip back to Jersey. <sighs> what do I mean by that? Um, I was going to exercise today. However, I think I'm in unison with Mr. Long about how he hasn't been able to do his homework since like we've been traveling and stuff like that and y'all i packed i packed to work out every day and like right now i don't work out clothes fun i have not work out clothes however it's just when everybody is always moving things are always like happening people want to see you visit yada 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 it just becomes challenging so i just said that um I think later on this evening, I'm probably take Bon on a very long walk, and I'm gonna get some cardio in today. Then I'm gonna come back, take a shower, eat dinner, put my clothes on for first thing in the morning for us to get up at 5 a.m. and head back to Jersey. So we should be home tomorrow, no later than 8 o'clock, if we don't run into traffic or weather. So I had a great time at my mom's house um i really really i'm just really pleased that i was able and i was in a position to where i could go down to south florida see my sister she had just had a baby and um spend quality time with her and my little nephew kansas uh some memories that i will forever cherish also, you know, just spending quality time with my mama. You know, I always tell y'all that you never know how long your parents got here. So while they're here, you know, you got to make the best of the time that you have with them. Speaking of, a lot of y'all have left some comments in regards to my father. Okay, now y'all must, y'all must bear with me on this one now. I have had a lot of growth with him in retrospect you know we haven't talked however i've had a growth i've had growth on my part meaning you know i no longer call him the dna because y'all know two years ago um i really got in my feelings about that and i did like three videos in one day all uh, in regards to him and how he makes me feel however as i've continued to mature I also have had a change of heart. Um, having a change of heart really plays a part in, you know, I'm more about forgiving and really trying to make an attempt to forget. And by talking to my oldest, well, she's not older than me, but she's older amongst my stepsisters and siblings. Um, talking to her and just hearing her input and you know feedback and just i guess story of you know just how it was for her growing up with my father and like he was present he was there you know that type of stuff however y'all y'all have all been very um opinionated about how some of you think you know i should reach out to him 
and you know I should just bite the bullet to make my circle complete you know I should just be the one to show him what a better being a better person looks like however y'all I've already done that I've already done that and I've written letters uh, a couple months ago when he had a stroke uh, I reached out to him I called the hospital no luck I called his cell phone I called I texted his cell phone now my sister Felicia she did tell me the other day when um we met up but she told me he's not good with texting however what's wrong with I know ain't nothing wrong with your fingers you know what I'm saying so like you know what's wrong with calling someone back that called you and left a voicemail and y'all I'm not gonna lie that was very very hard for me to do and I am in a I'm in a place now where you know I'm healing and I, I want to be a better me and I don't necessarily think being a better me requires me to continue to like just put myself out there to just continue to get disappointed <sighs> I love him because he is my father I love what I do and I have learned about him in the past couple of months however I can't say that I'm willing to continue to put myself just out there to continue to be hurt because then I feel like it puts me it pushes me back to where I'm not trying to go and I just know that through my sisters and if he does watch my YouTube channel, he knows. I love him. My heart is open. I'm open to receive him. I'm open to not live in the past. I can't get the past back. And that's the reality of it all. I'm just working on today and moving forward in my future. And little me, little me, little me. Um, my little inner voice in me, uh, she's telling me, Steph, you don't want to get hurt, Steph, you know, um, he should be calling you because, you know, you're the child, he's an adult, he's the parent, however y'all future me, future me, you know, me that wants to elevate and grow and all of that stuff, um, future me is telling me, Steph, You've done your part. And now, all I could do is continue to pray, leave it in God's hands. One of you have mentioned to me that you went through the same thing and your father ended up passing away. You were the only child that was not in attendance at the funeral. And, you know, you just, you, you've been through the same situation that I have. And pretty much, you know... I guess if you had the opportunity to do it, do it again, you know, you would do, do things differently. However, if, God forbid, God was to call my father home to glory, now I would go to his funeral. I would pay my respects. However, it's just, it's just really difficult to continue to allow a man that's supposed to love you more than your husband want to cherish and protect you more than your husband to continue to allow him to hurt me so I think right now personally I am in a good place and um I'm okay to talk about him you know I'm not like tearful and I'm not in my feelings and in my emotions and in my head you know what I'm saying like I could talk about him and I can actually call him daddy um and not the DNA so Y'all, our time is going to come. Hopefully, it's going to come before God calls him to glory. However, I'm trusting the process. And I just have to feel that one day, his heart is going to be so full to the point that he's going to say, You know what? It's time. I've done all I can do on my side. And some of y'all keep saying stuff. Just go see him. It ain't that easy either. I don't know where he lives. I don't and I am not in the business of just popping up at people's house okay I'm not so thank y'all for you know trying to encourage me to you know complete my circle and I'm working on that he's the last piece of that puzzle 
and it has to happen in its own time and right now I just have other things on my plate that right now I can't put I can't make him a priority y'all may say that's cold but it's not not to me I have me and James to worry about right now and that's the biggest concern so on that retro retrospect I'm about to get this vlog up to y'all see bonds being my little assistant here and then later on I plan on seeing my sister Demetrius my nephew Omari and I'm hoping I'm gonna see a friend of mine um, that lives here in Jacksonville as well and y'all know her also from the vlogs I'm hope hopeful to see Shayla so we'll see how the rest of the day goes and I'll see y'all in a little bit the, the Jesus <laughs> well, y'all been got that living room, boy. You know you had a fit. Get out of there. What time come on, come on. Mm -hmm. They get home by Nah, he said about six. I think he I said know. six, something like that. Yeah, my mom finna get off like 30 minutes. Yeah, she said about five. Yeah. No white <laughs> Jordan. Hmm. What's up, girl? Right. Hey girl. Jayla. Hey girl. What's up, girl? Hey. <laughs> this got a strong. <coughs> ain't even nothing in here. Yes, Get off of me. Hi, Jayla. They be looking for the breast. Now, my oh, grandma said she ain't got enough to the right. <laughs> my grandma said she was going to watch the baby, but she's washing her. Chip. Baby. Josiah. <laughs> Lou. <laughs> what up, boy? You, he don't he don't take Bobo like a passage. He doesn't like it. Right? Oh good. We we just only time he really do the passage when he's about to go to sleep. Oh, okay. We, we have the whole Jamelin. Jordan. Jayla. Ebony. Steph. J Duff. Oh, you hungry? He's a lot of weight, guys. Yeah, he is. Look at him. He's about to raise up. He's not even going to fit in that little trash can. Oh, y'all got bottles. Oh, shit. Y'all got bottles. You doing that thing, too? Well, she's breastfeeding, too. Okay. I know Ash should be doing that. I'd be like, what the heck? She going to she going the other room. Like, what you doing? Blanket over it. Oh, okay. Y'all be prepared, y'all. I was wondering. Because I'm like, how do you help with the feet? Oh, oh, feet. Look, they close it closes after the, the lights go away. Look, this little guy needs to go. Yeah. Come on, go in there. Look at that. It's blanking them off. All these new really, additions really to our looks, family. He really looks like Omari. I do. Bye. Stop begging. That's what it means when you have the head. Y'all, he milk drunk. He's so milk drunk. <laughs> Poor little baby. Oh. Ready, set, go. Wow, my man. Wow. You, that. Oh, she about to cuss you out. Really, mama? She said, no, this mofo didn't. Oh, poor little baby. What happened? What happened? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.